What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Jake. Nice to meet you. Once upon a time ago, I unboxed a military breakfast meal Yummy. that was very, very old. But it was breakfast. The most important meal of the day. Now I will be unboxing the most important -er meal of the day dinner because breakfast is a scam. Scam! No one likes eggs. No, no one's one. gonna go out of their way to eat eggs, so they had to make breakfast the most important meal of the day. No way! Bullshit! It's dinner. So today, we're unboxing dinner. Let's do this. Lucky for you guys, I actually have a great historian here with me that was actually in the military. Uh, he's gonna let you know a little bit about these. MREs, or military meals ready to eat, are a pretty standard meal across the military because they're very portable, loaded with lots of calories, and they can fit right in your pocket. They have a notoriously long shelf life, but that's for recent MREs. As for those ones, back in like 1945, I doubt they had the same type of preservatives that they do today. That thing probably expired about a year after it was manufactured, which isn't the worst thing. It's only about probably 80 years past its due date. This box was actually made somewhere between 1939 and 1945. Were there any big world events going on during that time? Yes, there was. World War II, which some of your pan pals might have been in. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm excited. Woo! Look at that bad boy. U.S. Army Field Ration K Dinner Unit. Delicious. Let's think about that. 1939, 80 years old. Your pa if your papa was in that, I bet you 100 bucks he's not alive because he would have had to been like 18 and up. That meant he would have had to been around 100 years old. He's dead. But the meal is much alive. Let's get into it. Look at that D right there. That's a good D! Wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. It's putting up a fight. It's me versus the mold. Who's gonna win? Me. Oh my gosh, it's putting up a fight. There we go. There's that beautiful D. Can't even shake it out. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to make an incision. Oh my gosh, here, I'm just gonna do this. Oh no, I ruined it. There goes history. Dude, it's already letting out a smell. There we go, I had to do it. I had to do it. It's the only way. Woo, look at that. Look at that. There we go, let's get it out of that package. There we go, we got it out. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. I feel like this one might be better quality than the last one. Oh my gosh, where's my, oh my gosh. Do you see that, do you see that? Look at that smoke. That was the gun fire rudder. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Woo -wee. Slap my ass and call me a biscuit. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like this is a, uh, why does it, where, does it say anything? Come on, man. American cheese. Oh my gosh, it smells like a baseball field. Stinky, stinky. Oh, in my throat, bro. I think this is just cheese. I don't, I don't know. I think it's just cheese. This side's bad, this side looks pretty good. My, f oh, Cheeto fingers. Yo, dare me to suck them right now? One lick, and I'm dead. You know how like a lot of cans from like the 70s and before are like filled with lead, so you're not supposed to eat anything from there? Is that so? Most old things are dangerous to use. Even makeup, they all have lead in it and it could kill you. Oh, ho, ho. let's see what's in here. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. What is that? To my knowledge, I believe this is still edible. It looks almost like a muffin, but it is cheese. 80 year old cheese. Reggie is covering his nose behind the camera right now. Look well, at that. One, because it smells like shit, and two, I'm not trying to die of lead poisoning. I am. This is what a normal person's lungs look like. This is what a smoker's lung looks like. Isn't it true that the longer the cheese ages, the better it is? This must be the best tasting cheese ever. Let's try it. Psych! You ought to be spanking Ronald Reagan and David Jones a lot if you think I'm gonna be eating that. Thank God. Yeah. Dude, I think if there's any way in real life to get the cheese touched, you just got it. Get the f away from me. <laughs> what do we got here? I'm guessing bubblegum? The finest smoke. We got 80 year old cigarettes, fellas. Shout out to lung cancer. Oh, wow. 
Look at that. Wow. Look at that. No filter. Best way to say fuck you to your lungs. Ooh, now that's that wacky tobacky. Shake, 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 a shake it. Whoa! We just hit the gold mine. Wow, what? I cannot wait to see what's inside. Ooh! So I've seen a little bit of this in my last unboxing video, except this is the dinner version. What do we got here? Oh, this is something that was actually not in the original package. This disintegrated in the original package, so we never got to see this. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. Wow, look at that. Chewing AIDS teeth. Let's see what's inside of it. Look at that. Whoo. 80 year old gum, baby, let's go. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see if it's still white. No. Sniff check. <laughs> Maybe I'm just smelling my fingers, actually. It, it does smell like gum. I was just smelling my fingers, see? <laughs> there is a hint smell of mint. I would eat this, but my fingers are absolutely toxic right now, and I completely ruined it the moment I touched it. See what we got here, got some crackers. I 100% believe that these crackers, out of everything else, will be in the best condition. Wow, look at that. You could still read it. Oh wow. Oh man, I swear I could have read it easier before I wiped it. Here, here, let's see if this is one. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. K1 Nasisco. Ooh, smells like a cracker, but an old cracker. What is this very, very black substance we have right here? Oh my God, what are you? Black tar heroin. Oh wait, there's a package right here. Lemon juice powder. This is not powder. This is black tar heroin. You know it's bad whenever lemonade powder turns black and gooey. This is the one thing I'd actually probably try and it's actually probably worse than heroin for you. Have not seen this before. Malted milk dextrose and dextrose tablets. Oh, it's candy. And I believe this is sugar. Domino's, before it was a pizza company. Sugar. Let's see what's inside. I bet you $100 it's sugar. You owe me $100. There we go, that's the sugar we recognize. Let's get to that candy. I've never seen something like this before, so this is really exciting. Whoa. Whoa, that is really cool. Looks like we got chocolate and white chocolate. Maybe uh, cookies and cream. Sniff check. <sighs> I, I've actually had a really, really old candy bar before, and it smells exactly like this, and I believe it's because milk expires. And it was one of the worst tasting things I've ever tried. Don't eat anything with expired milk. I guess I was a lot more courageous than my last one where I ate almost everything in this box. But in this video, I'm just getting bad vibes. <laughs> you know, this is really cute. I love tiny things, like my dick. It's very cute, you know, that's why I like mini M&Ms a little more than regular M&Ms. They taste the same, but they just feel nice. Whoever was eating these was a happy soldier. That wraps up the video, guys. You now know what an 80-year-old K-Ration dinner box looks like. Since I unbox this for you, you have to subscribe to me. It's only fair. And of course, spank that like button. I gotta wash my hands. I'll see you next time.